HD TV is turning out to be one of the hottest big ticket items this holiday season, but if you're planning on upgrading, it could cost you a lot more than you expect it. In tonight's Consumer SOS, Mark McAllister has tips on how to avoid those unexpected costs. Like many in the market for high definition this holiday season, Mike Baer is a little overwhelmed by the variety and the costs. Especially with the economy uh, the way it is right now, everybody's got to be thinking about how, uh, how big the pocketbook is. While the prices have come down in recent years, it's the added cost of HDTV that overwhelms. Especially when it involves not just an HDTV set, but an entire home renovation. Right here where we're standing will be a riser, um, and that will have the back row of the seating on that riser. Intech Systems outfits homes with the latest in custom theaters and surround systems, which can run clients between twenty-five and one hundred fifty thousand dollars. The majority, however, don't have the resources or the passion, for that matter, to create that ultimate home theater environment. Many simply want the high-definition experience for as little as possible. For uh, 40 inch. 40 inch? Uh, like probably LCD. And customers usually make it clear what they're looking to spend and then we determine an appropriate size based on their viewing distance. The sets can range from hundreds to thousands of dollars. Then a sound system, the stand and special cables add hundreds more to the bottom line. Of course 1080p is a minimum requirement nowadays and Blu-ray players are very, very hot this Christmas season. High-definition cable or satellite signals also cost more. A Rogers HD personal video recorder, for example, is 20 bucks a month to rent or $500 to buy. Some HD channels are offered for free, but add-on packages can also cost an extra $30 monthly. All factors in a decision that's hard enough already. Really, whatever is going to last us for a while because it seems the technology changes so quickly. Another cost for another day. Mark McAllister, Global News.